Glover in the pits of the CME and our market panel, Jamie Cox with Harris Financial Group, the managing partner there, and Kimberly Foss with Empyrean Wealth Management, the founder and president. Let's start with Larry at the CME. Larry, this is a headline-driven market. Some people are saying Cyprus is just this tempest in a teacup, and then we have the Fed and the wrap-up of that meeting tomorrow. How do you put this all together? The markets were obviously confused today, ending mixed. Yeah, that's a good point, Lauren. This is the bottom line. There's a ton of chatter, very little real news right now. The market has been in a stalemate for quite a while. We've had some notable uh, macro headlines come through Europe in the last couple of weeks. SNS Bank Real uh, disaster. We had Italy and the unknowns there. Yes, we can talk all day about Cyprus, but I think the issue is okay. much bigger than that. Well, the I want, I want to talk about Cyprus incident. more, Larry, as well, but we do have Adobe earnings, and we have a jump in that stock after hours. Adam, what are, what are the numbers? Right, stock up over 4.5%, David, because it's a beat on both lines. First, earnings per share came in, uh, non-gap earnings per share of 35 cents on revenue of one of $1.01 billion. Street was expecting $986.04 million, and again, the street was expecting earnings per share of 31 cents. One of the things the company is saying is that adoption of Creative Cloud accelerated and we achieved strong digital marketing revenue and bookings growth in uh, the first quarter. So Adobe is a beat on both lines. A beat on both lines. Larry, let me go to you on Adobe. Uh, that's good news. And if earnings season continued the way Adobe's been doing and some others, maybe this rally continues no matter what happens in Cyprus. Right, David. I mean, we're looking for the next impetus, and maybe this is a little bit of a sign. I mean, uh, Adobe is uh, just brazen. I mean, a 52-week high. I mean, making all these significant changes. It's really, really risky, and it's all panning out for them right now. Cloud computing, moving digital, subscription-based subscription, subscription -based, uh uh, subscriptions, I should say. All that to say is like it's really moving the right direction. Very risky, but good risk. And the stock is uh, showing it up 4% yeah. right now. Yeah, and it also hit a four year high a little bit earlier this month. Yeah. So Adobe is certainly a winner. Thank you so much, Larry. We'll see you in a few minutes when the SP futures okay. close. Let's